Let's take a look at how to stop After Effects from randomly animating every single frame when you use the random effect. In other words, some static values. Tip tut. Hello everybody and welcome back to Tip Tut and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. Today, as you can see by these randomly dancing squares, we're going to learn how to uh, stop After Effects from picking a new random value every single frame and otherwise just taking a static random value for every single frame. Uh, I'm going to move to a simpler composition to explain this. You can see that I have two shape layers here and if I bring up the rotation on each of these, you can see that both of them have a um, piece of code applied which looks slightly different to your normal random value. I'm just going to delete this and explain what's going on. For those who want to they can just copy uh, what is in this piece of text in the description here. Uh, for those that don't understand can just keep watching this video to explain what random is and how we're going to work this. For example if you alt click the stopwatch on this second um, cube here and we just typed in random open and close parentheses semicolon. Um, this would pick a random value for the uh, uh, value that we just uh, attributed here for rotation. So for example, if I typed in negative 30 and 30, that would take every single frame a random value between negative 30 degrees and 30 degrees and apply it to this square and start dancing around. Okay. Now the way you can stop that is by telling it to have a random seed that is static. And to do that, you just need to go seed random, open and close parentheses, semicolon. Then inside the parentheses, you need to say from the index, which is just random number, first number, timeless equals true. And what this means is it's not going to apply any effects that apply over time in the composition here. So you can see now that our second square is completely static. Um, if you wanted to, you could set this to be timeless equals false. There's a whole bunch of other stuff that you can do. Um, with seed random that I'm not going to go into here because frankly, I don't really explain it, but this will allow you to have more control over your random values, like setting things to only animate every few frames, etc. Uh, for now though, that's all we're going to go into because this was just a quick tutorial to see how you could make your object static as opposed to a uh, thing like this. This is useful when, for example, I used it to import hundred photos into After Effects. I wanted each of them to be rotated ever so slightly so that when I animated all into the center, they made a rough stack. I didn't want this to be perfectly aligned. So I did this to each of those and then I didn't have to go in and manually edit the rotation by, you know, two or three degrees for each one. But that's all there is to it. Nice and simple. Seed random index timeless equals true. Uh, and that will stop your uh, any random um, figure from animating every single frame. Thank you very much for watching everybody. Nice quick tutorial for you this week and I'll see you next time for another episode of TikTok. Subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.